Hey guys, it's AG Skies the Limit here, and today we're going to be opening the It Seems Perfect set by Our Generation. And sorry, I can't really get this whole box to fit into the frame. But anyway, this is um, obviously a sewing set, and the really cool thing about it is that it has a pattern that you can and fabric that you can use to sew yourself over here. But then over here, it has a sewing machine for the doll. And I'm actually going to get my sewing machine to show you how similar they are. I'm in the middle of doing this, and I'm having some trouble. I can't quite. So I open the side thing. You're, you're supposed to, be able to just pull like the thing out that has the stuff in it, but I can't quite pull it out. So can somebody please tell me if I'm doing this wrong? See, I haven't got the tabs and stuff, so I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying. So that I figured out what the problem was. So I can't even get this. So ah, uh, why can't I get this in frame? <laughs> Let me try something. Okay. Well, so this. Thing is like glued to this to this packaging, but this is kind of loose. So basically, you need to rip this like off or just cut it off. But that's what the problem was. Yay! I figured it out. Okay, I have my doll back here just to model some of the stuff. But I'm just gonna start showing you guys the um little thing. So the first thing is this. Basically, on the box it says this is um one sewing box. <laughs> I don't even know if it looks like a box. But then we have one ruler and I want the doll here and obviously this is not real inches or centimeters even though it does have both it has centimeters up here up here and then inches down here but obviously they are not real true to life and then this is how it looks in my doll's hand so I feel like everything with our generation is like a little bit small because I don't know if this is a way that a real ruler would be proportioned to let's say my hand and then next we have one pair of scissors and if we can get the doll to model them these are actually way better proportioned than most our generation things and look they actually like fit like they won't stay but you can like balance them on the doll's fingers like this and they actually which I love actually open and close I was trying to do this this is like really hard to balance on my fingers but these do they don't actually like work because they're not sharp but they do mimic a real Real scissors, and you can, as you can see, they have good detailing. Is these two spools of thread, and what I love is the thread is not just like vaguely painted on. Like this is actual thread, and of course you could probably use this, but I don't really see the point in using it when I have real size thread, and um, it looks really cute for the dolls. Okay, next we have one buttonhole measuring tool, which is, uh, I didn't take the bag, which is this, and I've actually never used one of these before, and I, I do so, and oh, it does work, so this would like go like this, and you'd like measure how big the buttonhole is, like if you need a replacement button or something, and then next, it says, one chalk pencil so now i use a real pencil when i sew because i don't have a chalk pencil but some people when they sew they don't want to see markings but usually the markings are got on the inside we'll use a chalk pencil because then you can just erase it really easily so that's cute and then next we have one thimble oh here it is okay here is the thimble and um i'm gonna see if i can put it on my doll's finger so here we have Clarissa. Thank you for being the model. It fits. Now if you just want to see it, it doesn't have actual holes, but it has detailing that look like kind of holes. I don't even know if the thimbles have actual little holes. They may just be like indents, but like it does have Right now I'm not too happy. So it says on the box, it says eight buttons. These are not eight buttons. These are four. So on the box, in the picture it shows, it shows... Down here, there's two pink buttons, two green buttons, two black buttons, and two white buttons. And it also says, right here, eight buttons. But, somehow, I ended up with four buttons. And of course, they are really cute buttons. I just wish that they were, in fact, four buttons. I mean, not eight buttons instead of four. So, something must have been messed up with mine, unless this, this is just a defect for all of them. So I'll have to see about that, but I've already opened it, so I don't think I can return it. Next, we have one measuring tape. And now, unlike the ruler, which was not in real inches, this is in real inches, so you could actually use it. 
And so obviously this is more for you um, than the doll. Because obviously the doll's hand is not like um, one and a half inches. But, yep, I mean in the doll proportions. It would, okay, so yeah, there's the tape measure. I mean measuring tape. Next we have one pin cushion. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's so cute. Go get my big pin cushion. Okay. So, I'm just telling my sister to go get my big pin cushion because <laughs> this one's really cute. And it looks just like mine, except of course mine's pink. But one thing that is disappointing to me is, look, in each sector, there's just like, you see how the pattern like rotates? Like one, two, three. One, two, three pins. Like, that's not realistic, and I also wish it was squishy. But one really cute detail is that it's supposed to be a bracelet. I'm going to try to get on my doll, even though she's not an our generation doll. I'm going to just stretch this a little bit. So, I'm just going to see if this actually can fit on American Girl dolls. Okay, so if you stretch it out, it will fit on your AG dolls. It won't go all the way around, but if you stretch it, and you have to like, kind of put it on sideways like this, and then twist it, it will fit. And now here's the big pin cushion. What well, the only thing it doesn't have, sorry, there's a bunch of thread on mine because I'm messy. It doesn't have like the little um, needle sharpener, but otherwise it looks pretty realistic. And I love the band. So next we have one doll dress pattern with envelope and one roll fabric. Okay. Where is that? So here is the envelope that like when you buy um, a pattern in the store, this is like what it's what's coming. But now, we have the pattern that we folded, so I'm unfolding it, and it's for a, the dress that you can make for your doll, and obviously it's a very simple dress. And I don't know if I'll be using this, because when I sew, I like to make my own patterns. I don't like to, to, to I don't know, use other people's patterns, but it is really, really cute, so I may have to use it. Okay, the next thing that we have is something bigger. This is a dressmaker form and um I'm going to show you it's really cute. <laughs> it says La Belle Mode de Paris Haunt Couture 1927 and I'm going to put on the stand. So here's the stand and all you do is you get it situated and you just have to push it on until it snaps and um it goes like that. It actually it spins. Okay. Now next. Okay. Okay, so I forgot to say this, but this just come with a roll of fabric, and this is supposed to go with the pattern. Um, but it's real fabric, and you could actually use this to make the dress, of course. I like the way it doesn't have a undo that. It's really cute. Okay, so now we have the table, and my table can assemble, but there are instructions to like, oh, no, I know what the instructions are. The instructions are that you can actually do this to sew, which is really cute, and then you bring the, ch the chair up here, and it's supposed to be like this. Machine, and this is really cool because now the sewing machine's at table level. Ooh, and the needle will go up and down if you spin this thing, just like a real sewing machine. And this thing spins. Um, you can actually put a real spool effect here. But where's the chair? So the chair does go up to the table nicely. But one thing that I noticed, let me spin this around, is the chair is, um, sorry, I'm going to cut that tag off. It's really bothering me. Is the AG doll, like, looks a little big in this chair? And obviously our generation also is fantastic, they would also look big. But I think like the reason that the chair is so small is because our generation makes their, their products cheaper by making them just slightly smaller and it saves them a ton of money. So, okay, that was an accident. But now we're going to compare this sewing machine to a real, my real sewing machine. And we're going to compare some of the features. Now obviously, this sewing machine is a lot of a, um, I don't know how to say. I was going to say simpler, but this is called simple. But this is like a more fancy sewing machine. This is more like, I don't know. Like, your first sewing machine, like, oh! Because our generation is supposed to be, like, younger, like, I don't know, elementary school, first year middle school, I don't know, maybe the same age as the H.E. girls. So, they probably wouldn't have a sewing machine like this yet. But, of course, I do because this is my second sewing machine. But I'm going to show you the details. So, in a real sewing machine, when you twist, I don't even know what this thing's called. When you twist this thing, the needle goes up and down, if you can see that. And when you twist this, the needle also goes up and down. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? And then one other thing 
This is the foot. This thing makes the foot go up so you can you, know, you bring this up and you'd slide fabric under there. And then you'd go down and you'd be ready to sew. So up. You see that? And my sewing machine also does that. And you also can't really see the lever because it's on the back. But it is there. Let me show you. So there it is. So this sewing machine is surprisingly realistic. And just like a real sewing machine, it has the different settings of the thread. And obviously this one only has four because like I said, this is probably just a beginner sewing machine. So my overview, this um, kit is really great if you have AG or odd generation or any 18 inch dolls. But I don't know what's wrong with mine, if it was just mine, but mine only came with four buttons. When it still come with eight, obviously, it would be like really big if it was missing the sewing machine, but obviously, if you look at the box, it says there should be eight. So I don't know what's up with that, but thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!